Yeah, okay then, let's look at some of the basic drawing tools and modification tools. Uh, starting again with our smart line. Let's say we draw a left click, I left click again, and then I need to draw an arc. You hit the tilde key, which is the little squiggly key on your keyboard, it turns into arc mode. And then you have to look, say down in the lower left part of the screen, it asks arc center, enter arc center. So I left click there, and then I can define how far around that arc is going to go. So let's say we just go around halfway, and then we make an S shape back around this way. If I left click again, and then just not holding any buttons or anything, just drag around. Maybe we'll go vertical on that one left click again and then if I want to get out of arc mode you hit the tilde key again it goes back into line mode now you'll also notice that uh, AccuDraw has switched into this round mode and that's that's the polar coordinates mode you'll see that now you're in distance and angle mode if you hit the space bar it should switch back to rectangular mode, so you can go X, Y. You may also want to use text in your drawing, so we could use the text tool. And basically what you, it pops up this little window and you type in whatever you want. My name is Will. There we go. And then wherever I left click, it places it. Okay, so you can see I can do it over and over again. I close that out. I may really, I wanted to make that a little smaller, huh? Control Z for undo or edit undo. Let's try the text tool again. And this time, instead of just typing right in, I'm going to pick the height. About half of that height would have been good, huh? About four inches or three inches. And if I hit the tab key, it should pop down. Yep, it's locked together there. Now if I type it in, it looks the same here, but it's smaller down on this screen, right? So there we go. Another thing you might want to do with, with text, I find, instead of manipulating it each time, is I'll create a style. So I hit text style, and then new, and we'll call this maybe uh, uh, four inch text or four inch name and then I can change it it's in feet and inches remember we've got the the unit set up that way so that's four inches high All right. I'll save it and then I can just pick the style four inch name and it'll always show up like that Okay, if I type something else, thing else, if I could type something else right there. Now to demonstrate the power of styles, let's say, you know, we really didn't like that font. Let's look at the style again, four inch name, and instead of using Arial, let's go to the engineering font in MicroStation, hit save. And you notice immediately on my screen, everything that's in that style changed. Now remember, I didn't assign that one to the style, so that wouldn't work. I could also make that into the style using the edit text mode. So if I hit the edit text button, it wants me to select something to edit. This does not have that style. I could apply the style and close it and it would, should pick up I thought yeah. why didn't it pick up I changed it to all textile none alright so let's see I gotta switch the style I did that I'm going to do edit text, style, 
Sometimes I get this way in MicroStation. You just kind of click wildly and something else happens that you didn't expect. You notice it didn't change on the screen, but it's all turned pink. I can look at my lower left part of the screen and it says accept, reject. That means i got to data click one more time, left click. And then it goes. So speaking of uh, modifying stuff, we can also use this whole group of tools up here to uh, copy, move, rotate, scale, all kinds of stuff. So let's just take copy, for example. This circle, I can pick either by the center or by the edge. If I left click once, move the mouse. Notice that I can also use AccuDraw to position this. So if I wanted a circle that was two feet down from the other one, I could just type two, left click, and it'll just keep going. I could go to the right, two feet, two feet, I have to remember to left click, uh, and I have to right click to stop doing that. So there's the copy. Move is very similar, except it doesn't leave a copy of it. I could move this one over there. Uh, we can rotate things, for example. If I wanted to rotate this funny looking line here, Enter pivot point, it says in the lower half of the screen, and I left pivot point, and then identify, and it's a little goofy. You know, I'd much rather use the two point method for rotations, that's a hint. Identify element, point to rotate about, and then you can just move the mouse however much you want it to rotate until you left click again, and then it sticks. So I really prefer the, the two point rotate. Another good group is the Modify Element group. I've just picked the first one, Modify Element. You could take this circle here. Maybe we want to make it smaller or larger. Maybe we want to make this line larger or smaller. You can extend it out, those sorts of things. I think there may be some others in there. Partial Delete. We want to take the end off this line, end point of partial delete, back here, make it shorter. So what if you want to move a whole group of items? If you use the move tool, for example, you know, you've got to be able to get more, more than one thing at a time. So you can use the selection toolbox. And these groups of things, they do different things. But uh, one of the easiest is just to use Add, and then everything that I left click on gets added to the selection. Then I go over, pick the Move key, and it wants to go from left click here. Maybe I want to put this over on the other side of the screen. Left click over there, and it moved. That's how you can multiple select. Now that the selection thing, I right click to get out of the Move tool, to clear it, you hit that button right there. This other button that the clear turns into is Select All, so that I could select all and hit the Delete element, then it would all go away. Control Z would bring it back. And of course, I can Control Z back and forth through a lot of different things. You notice the line changed. Uh, you can also do Redo if you go back too far with Control R. So I want to shorten that line up. Control R, move the circles back over there. Whatever you like to do. So there we were, climbing Katahdin in the winter time. Come on, Bob, let's go before we can't see anything in this snow. Something else you can also draw in different colors. If I just pick Smart Line. Go up here. I got a bazillion different colors. Maybe I want to draw in blue. Left click, left click. There it's in blue. Maybe I really wanted the text in a different color. You use the uh, change element attributes tool where you can pick a different color. Maybe we want red. Then everything I left click on turns to red. We'll use this tool a lot more when we get into levels and stuff later in the in the semester, but that's how you can change things around, and that should do it.